unethical behaviour. Harry was stoned for using Wellchild to save his dying brand. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. In a videotape posted on Tuesday, the Duke of Sussex made reference to a potential visit to the United Kingdom. One of the Prince's most cherished charities, Wellchild, was the subject of a video he just shot. The United Kingdom-based charity supports the care and support of children and young people at home, as opposed to in hospital, wherever feasible. The fifth in line to the throne said in the video about how much he admires individuals who work for the charity and the amazing children who each year get a variety of accolades at the Well Child Awards event for their unique characteristics and bravery. The Duke asked people to choose someone they thought should be recognised at the next ceremony, which will take place later this year. Then he said, I always look forward to meeting the awards recipients and bringing attention to this wonderful organisation. I am hoping you will join me this year and participate. Make a nomination right now. One of the charities that received a gift from Harry's book sales of Spare is Wellchild. After Harry's Wellchild-related video was posted, he was immediately stoned by the online community. Most assume that Harry is not the person to be involved with them. Too much of a terrible example of a deranged, vindictive druggie who has thrown his family, the royal family no less, under the bus and married an unmentionable. No one should have anything to do with either of them. They are both nasty and greedy pieces of work. One insider criticised, saying, Good God, he's now got a video out touting for nominations for the Well Child Charity. Surely this charity needs to review its patrons if they consider him to be a suitable role model after all his recent admissions regarding drug use, etc. Surely Duncan Bannatyne, OBE, would be a more appropriate choice to front this charity. It makes me think that I should nominate Harry to attend the Well Child himself for referral to one of those clinics he spouts about. He obviously has some serious mental health issues. Hell Child Harry used Well Child's disabled children not only to market his brand to make money for himself in the United States, but also now to rebrand himself after the backlash he received after he published his book. This book was filled with the privileged prat whining and lying. After the disrespectful comments he made in his book about a former female matron with scoliosis in college, he is not the right person to support this charity. What an awful example he and her are to everyone. How can you respect any charity supported by these greedy, drugged-up hypocrites? They just cannot stop themselves, can they? If they were not presenting themselves as royals, nobody would want to know them. People suppose that Harry will stay at his United Kingdom registered address, which is Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor Estate. So, they should kick them out there, now that they are not working royals, and they have accused all the residents living there of being racist. It is so insulting to them all. One commentator said, Wasn't it after the Well Child event last year that Hairball claimed he was chased by millions of paparazzi? Why would he want to run the gauntlet again? Oh, wait. The newsreel of his departure shows a Range Rover and a couple of security vehicles slowly driving away, and there's no one else there. As I recall, in 2021, at the Well Child Awards after the meeting, wasn't Harry dismissive to a little boy who asked to see a photograph of Lily? The boy's mother was upset because the question was ignored, and Harry moved immediately on to the next child. I am surprised he is still involved with Well Child. Do they pay his expenses to come over to the United Kingdom? If Well Child has any sense, they will now disassociate themselves with this man baby who has serious mental health issues, has admitted to doing hard drugs, and claims to have illegally buried Megan's miscarriage under a banyan tree with his bare hands. 
This is one of his few remaining links to the United Kingdom, and it is time to borrow the South African response to Meghan. A source revealed that Harry does not come over as compassionate and caring. It is a pre-practice speech with the odd hand and eye movement. Not heard of him mention or visit the Wellchild charity in the years he has left the United Kingdom. Charities are running well without their help. I certainly will never donate to anything these two are involved with. It is because they do nothing for free. It is difficult to believe that Harry gives any thought or sympathy to anyone else. After all, he and Meghan are the ultimate victims. He is much too concerned with his own damaged ego and settling scores than helping others. Charities, however, are useful to him and Meghan because they try to give the appearance of them caring and a reason for the existence of their tax avoidance vehicle, which is Archwell. An insider revealed, I know we've had lockdown, recession, etc., but the finances of Wellchild do not look too healthy. If you go over to the Charity Commission website, since Megxit, I am not sure having a petulant, nasty, mean-spirited, whinging, whining, envious patron Harry fronting a charity of children, carers who have it tough is the best idea. Wellchild is a great charity, but I am afraid I wouldn't give any charity or organisation that is a vehicle for Harry and Meghan's public relations a single penny. It is ironic that the ginger dimwit should speak up for one of his prime public relations outlets. Mm, I mean, the charity Wellchild. This is when many people are expressing their concern regarding their own children being deprived of any healthy family relationships with grandparents, aunts, uncles and cousins. The poor mites, Archie and Lily, will grow up thinking that relatives are just single, drug-addled, jailbird grandmothers. Didn't Harry make a similar approach to the Scotty little soldiers at Christmas, making a pathetic statement from his office in the United States? I doubt he put his money where his mouth is on that day either. How could he ever confess to knowing how they all felt at that time of the year? When Harry's mother, the Princess of Wales, died, his life was the same when he woke up the next morning. His father and Diane were already divorced. I was in Crathy Kirk that morning when he, William, and all the royal family attended the morning service. The observer continued to say, I saw the warmth and love of that family surrounding and protecting them, and their father. This, to me, was a glip in his life. It did not alter the course of his life in any way whatsoever, and no comparison at all to the children of military personnel who so bravely lost their lives. The course of these children's lives took a dramatic and traumatic turn of events. How could he genuinely compare his to their lives? Maybe he should take time out and reflect on that morning in Crathy Kirk when he sat with William between our late Queen and our beloved Queen Mother and Charles sat between Prince Philip and Andrew. And he should ask himself, is this the way I should be repaying my family for all the love and care they have given me? The answer to that, Harry, is no and you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. What do you think about Harry using Wellchild to save his dying brand? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.